I did a video a few weeks or months back about how I make money working online. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the platforms that I use to generate almost all of my income. So one of the one of the ways that I make money while traveling is writing on a platform called Newsbreak. I have been writing on this platform for a little over a year, so I thought it would be a good recap to share with you my earnings, how I actually make money, and that it is possible for you to make money writing on this platform. First of all, I want to say that joining the platform is 100% free. However, it is mostly for those of us based in the United States or Canada. There are ways around it. I'm not an expert. I will link, my friend Hudson does a lot of videos on making money online by writing. So he covers this more in detail than I am going to. I'm just gonna show you that it's something that I've been doing for a year and it is the number one way that I sustain myself traveling, living abroad. As well, it would be a good side hustle if you are looking to get into the writing space, as well as making a little bit of extra money on a couple, you know, after work or on the weekends. It's not gonna make you a millionaire. In almost everything that I talk about, I never want to give you the wrong impression because there are so many people out there, so many YouTubers, so many bloggers, vloggers who talk about making money overnight. That does not happen. That is not possible. Most of these people that have money and make money online, they have been doing it for years. They might have deleted videos, but they have been doing it for years or doing some sort of side hustle while maintaining their nine to five job, which is what I recommend doing. I did not do that, but I was in a completely different situation and I was living abroad. So living abroad is much different. My level of how much money I need per month is way lower than someone who lives in North America. First of all, the, the platform Newsbreak is completely free. You do need to have 100 registered followers. The 100 followers must be someone who has an official Newsbreak account. So if you have the app, but you don't have, you're not signed in or anything, you're not technically a registered follower until you are signed into a platform and then you count as a registered user. I'm a registered user, so if you decide that you want to create a Newsbreak account, drop me your Newsbreak link and I will follow you. You also need to write 10 articles. I'm just gonna tell you right now, writing the 10 articles, they allow you to use AI, so they made it even easier. You're probably gonna get two or 300 followers or subscribers, and when you're on there, it will show you where you have your account open. There will be a tab that says monetization, so you can click on the monetization, and it'll say zero out of 100, two out of 100, three out of 100, so you can keep track of how many you have, but just once you write your 10 articles, like just get those out of the way, and then you will be set up to be monetized. You have 100 registered followers and 10 articles. I must tell you, if you want to write for Newsbreak, you must follow their rules. They have a very strict three strikes you're out policy. I have gotten strikes. The strikes do go away after 90 days, as well as you can appeal your strike. A lot of people get strikes because swore. So no swearing in your articles, or if you are writing something and you forget to cite, cite where you found something, you have to link back to where you found all your sources. If you do not link back to your sources, they will cite you for plagiarism. And it is plagiarism if you're not citing your sources. But before you even start writing, go into the news break, go into the rules and read them because they tell you exactly what they want. Stick to the facts of your article, keep it clean. You should be fine. If you want to start writing on Newsbreak, I do recommend, first of all, enjoying writing. If you don't enjoy writing and research, it's it's not going to be worth the money because it is a lot of work. But I don't actually feel like it's a lot of work because for me, it's doing something that I enjoy. So writing is not something that you go into for the money. I mean, if you look at writers all over across time and space, like no writer ever started by saying, I'm going to make a bazillion dollars. No, they write because they have to. They write because they feel a calling to be a writer. They write because it's just something that they can't do without every day without it. 
it's just like, it's almost like, it's like a passion, but it can be turned into something bigger. But for me, writing has been almost like a saving grace because it's something that I love to do and it's something that I have been able to make money where I can stay traveling and stay living abroad because my ultimate goal is to live abroad and to make enough money to live abroad. And that is the one goal that I do have and I have been able to accomplish it by writing on Newsbreak. Newsbreak is my number one way to make money. So, okay, so you're wondering how much did you make writing for Newsbreak in 2022? I'm going to tell you. I started writing in August 2022. I did not get monetized until October of 2022. So it's not that I didn't get enough followers, but Newsbreak takes about four to six seven weeks before they approve you for monetization. So it does take time. And while they're reviewing your your application, don't write. Get your 10, get your get your 10 articles done, get your 100 registered followers. Once you submit for monetization, do not write. Don't touch it. Let them make the decision and when they approve you, then continue writing. You can write and have them all stored, but do not publish them until they have approved you because after they approve you, you're gonna start getting paid, right? You're not gonna get paid for anything that you write on those 10 articles, by the way. But if those articles continue generating revenue, like I have articles still earning money from six months ago, they will still generate revenue because they're always there, especially if you write evergreen content. So one year of writing on Newsbreak, I have earned 20,700 US dollars, which is an average about 50, between $45 and $50 a day, depending on the month, right? And that is essentially all I need to live in another country. Here living in the US, if you wanna do that, an extra $20,000 a year is a good side hustle. It's a good side income for doing not that much work, especially if you're starting. I always recommend starting your side hustle while you still have your, your primary job so it's not a stress. So if you can get into the groove of writing, if you can get into the groove of getting monetized, and then you're like, yeah, now I can go on the road. And then you can figure out how to weave it into your everyday life and travel. I can sit down and write two or three articles in like four hours or so, and depending on depending on the day. If I'm not in the mood to write, then I can't. But then the days that I can write, I will sit and write, like yesterday I sat and wrote five articles. Today I sat and wrote two. So it depends on, you know, how, how productive you are. When you're productive, be productive. And the days you don't feel like it, then don't write. Because if you're pushing something, we all know, it never works. It's just push and then it's frustration. So I think that if you're interested in writing and you're interested in something that's very low <laughs> barriers to entry, I mean, it's free to start writing. And all you have to do is write the 10 art. Like I said, all you have to do is start and at first, don't be afraid of what you write because let me tell you, no one's reading. No one's reading. Secondly, once you start and you start getting people reading and they leave you comments, don't check your comments. Don't check your comments on Newsray because people are very mean. It is like they are very, very mean. I can't even tell you. Someone actually found my YouTube channel from my Newsbreak article and left me a comment about how much she hated my last article. So yeah, so that will happen. So you have to be really resilient and you just have to be like, okay, you hated my article. You think my facts are wrong. I get most of my facts from sources that are legit. I get everything from legit websites. So if someone doesn't like your article, someone, there are gonna be a million people that don't like your article. Do not respond to them in your comments. Everyone is not gonna like your stuff. So this is the thing with being an online creator also is you have to just be okay with being like, Okay, so I'm gonna get, someone's gonna hate me today. Someone read my article and I have 80 comments of how horrible it is. I used to read them and I would be like beside myself, so upset. I'm like, oh my God, I'm a horrible writer, horrible this. And I was like, no, why? I'm not gonna, so now I just don't read. And that little red bubble might drive you nuts, I just let it go. I always tell people, if you're having a bad day and you want cheered up, just go read my comments on Newsbreak because that will make you feel much better about your life. <laughs> so yeah. So if you do plan on doing it, I'm just giving you a warning. <laughs> Don't read your comments. I have another friend. Okay, I'm gonna link, my friend Hudson does like all kinds of writing tutorials on his news, on his YouTube and he's very good. He's very more explained, very good at explaining things. So I will link him down below and right here, here, wherever. And, but this is just my one year of writing because I feel that 
a lot of YouTubers and a lot of bloggers, they talk about things, how they do things, but they don't actually tell you how to get started. They don't tell you like how much they make in the beginning. Like this is my very first year on Newsbreak. I had been writing previously on Medium and I can do a whole art, a whole a video about that if you would like. I make significantly less there, I can tell you that. And I've been writing there longer. <laughs> But I always feel like there's this huge secret and you see everywhere on, on YouTube now going around asking digital nomads how much you do or what do you do for a living. And it's just such a, like a like a stigma around making money and how people make money. Like we make money writing. Like I just told you exactly what I do. <laughs> and if you would like me to tell you exactly what I do more in detail and how I find articles, I'm happy to tell you because I don't think by hiding things is doing a service to anybody. I don't think by being shady a person is helping anybody because the world right now needs more people who are going to lift them up versus put them down because you know you feel like you're getting put down every day in life. And then when people are like, oh, I make this much money, I make it online, I do this, I do this. And then they're like, buy my course. Uh, I'm not selling you a course. <laughs> If you want me to tell you or go over more detail, I can do a live. You can come on and we can do a live and talk about it. If you want to email me and ask me a question, you can email me and ask me a question. I think one of my, someone who just started, who found my channel um, was asking me questions. I said, email me. And I'm not telling people to email me and I'm going to send you a course. I'm legit like, if you have a question, email me. Or I'll send you to my friend Hudson's website. He's not trying to sell you a course either. He's genuinely like, this is how I do it. If you do sign up to my affiliate link, with Newsbreak, I do make $200. So if you, but then also you, when you become a writer and you have your monetization, you can have people sign up under your link and you make a $200, that's it. It's not a recurring thing. It's like a one-time thing and that is it. It's not like every month I get something. No, you, you like, if you use my link, people have, I've had two people use it. I don't really promote it because I'm not really good at self-promoting because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really, I, I don't think that everything has to be a sales pitch. I don't think that, I think like just giving people other options, especially extra ways to earn money when right now the world is really, you know, it's really stressful and it's, everything's really expensive all over the world. And the fact that I do live off of very little income helps me and it helps me to not have as much stress and doing something that I really enjoy has helped. So if I can help someone else do that or make that extra month, I need, I mean, I know $1,500 extra a month is like for families is like eating or not eating, you know what I mean? Or having a car payment versus not having a car payment or paying half your mortgage, whatever. So if I can help you to not be stressed and show you something that is relatively low barrier of entry, then obviously I'm going to, well, I will help you. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so if you want to sign up, use my link. <laughs> That's my only sales pitch. It does not, you do not have to pay anything, don't you worry. Uh, Newsbreak is a very low barrier to entry. It is something that you can do. It is not fast, easy money. It does take time. But you might have a good month, you might have a bad month. But if you put a little bit of time and energy into it, you can make some extra money. That is what I'm trying to tell you. And if you are interested in being a writer, it's a good way to start writing without having to worry about anybody, what anyone says, because they're gonna say horrible things on Newsbreak. So just do it and don't read your comments. Um, that is pretty much it. If you have questions about it, um, drop me a comment. Like I said, I've been doing it for a year as of this month. And check out my friend's channel. He's way more in detail about it than I am. He will give you much more advice than me. Um, I, my channel is mainly on travel and quitting your job. <laughs> this is just like an adjunct of how I have been doing it. And I'm not traveling right now, so I'm trying to find content to help and to share with you as to how I do things and how I make it work because people are like, don't understand how people can just float around the world and do whatever. They think they do nothing. They think, you know, it's just another way to show you how life is possible living an alternative lifestyle. So drop me a comment. If you do start a Newsbreak account, if you need, if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. We can do a live video and I can go through my account and show you everything. No problem. 
I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.